Okay, one of the things that I think a lot of us realize is, you know, I've covered up maybe the imperfections, but I still don't have that beautiful, smooth, velvet, porcelain look. Or maybe my face has gotten a little shiny throughout the day and I wanna make it back to that smooth look, but I don't want anything that's gonna be heavy or cake in the lines. This is absolutely fabulous. This is the, the Flawlessly Smooth HD Finishing Powder. And there are different powders out there, but one of the things you have to look at, actually there's a lot of things to look at. Um, if there's color, what color is it? Does it cake? Does it build? Does it settle in the lines? Is it exactly the right size as far as each particle in it? Is it milled finely enough, but not so fine that it doesn't do anything? There are a lot of different just details that are going to make one powder work better than another. So if you're saying all powders are the same, oh, they are not. Um, and if you ask any professional makeup artist, they're gonna tell you that the reason there are a million different powders out there is that there are a million different reasons for making a powder. I wanted a powder that was going to be something I could use again and again throughout the day if I needed to. I wanted to be able to use it on bare skin or on makeup, whichever I preferred. And I wanted it to be something that everyone could use and not have to worry about. So this is perfect. Now, obviously it comes with the mirror right here, so you can see what you're doing. It also comes with this little puff um, in it, so you can use that, no problem. Um, I tend to use a brush just because I'm doing a lot of my face at one time. So that's my personal preference, but completely up to you. And these are things that you are going to love because they're super easy. They're impossible to do wrong. I mean, you can't mess it up. Literally close your eyes, put it on your face. You're still going to be fine. Okay. So, but you can see, yeah, I mean, I just put foundation on, so that's fine. But if I just want to set it so it lasts longer, or if I want to make my face a little more matte, if it's gotten shiny throughout the day, or, isn't that nice? Right there. Or maybe sometimes if you're using a cream or a liquid, it can look a little heavy and this can help just kind of soften it as well. One of the things I like about it is that I can go in my opinion, close to my eye, above and below to blend it all in. So you can't go wrong. It's super easy. It's gonna work with all different skin types, all different ages. That's another thing. When I was 20, I could wear anything on my skin. 20 was two and a half times ago. Okay, almost three. <laughs> and, um, uh, you know, now I can't put anything on my skin. So Flawlessly Smooth HD Finishing Powder. Use it with no makeup, just to make your skin look amazing. Use it over any foundation to set it. Use it throughout the day when your face looks a little shiny. Use it in places, use it all over, but there is no wrong way to use it as long as you use it. <laughs>